Hello everyone, it's Reptile Guide here once again, and in this video, I want to teach you a very amazing tutorial. Now, I made a lot of videos last time about how to convert any website or how to clone any website and uh, make it your own and edit it. And I got some comments about, okay, how can I turn this to WordPress? How can I turn that to WordPress? But in this video, I am going to teach you how to clone any website on the internet and turn them into a WordPress website that you can easily manage. That's impressive, right? And before we get started, I want you to know that this video is strictly for educational purposes and you should be aware that there are um, laws guarding privacy or let me say cloning websites online. So you can't just go to any website and clone it and make it your own. You must have the right to clone that particular website. So I use this for my own personal project. So and I always have the right to clone any kind of website I want to clone. So I seek permission from the website owner because trust me, you wouldn't want to get yourself into any trouble. And if you want to clone a website, I would advise that you change most of the elements, like the images. Don't use the same image, change the images and everything, and then just customize it to make it uh, unique. Without further ado, let's get started. The website we are going to be making use of is called the 10 Web right now. This is a very amazing platform that allows you to go on any website on the internet. They also have this AI feature that allows you to just, you know, create any website you want using AI. You don't need to sit and then start coding yourself. Okay, this is the website 10web.io. They have the, a free plan and they have a premium plan, but the free plan is kind of limited. But don't worry, this is what we are going to do. Since we want to put a website into a WordPress website, so which is obvious that you already have your own domain name, you already, you already have your own hosting. To get started, you can easily click on this generate your website. You can see no credit card required. But before we do that, let us check on their pricing list. You can see, let's go to the platform. So I want to show you how the pricing works. So they basically have four plans under the business category. Um, you can see there's a free plan here. Then there's an AI starter, there's the AI premium, there's the AI ultimate plan. And then you can compare and contrast all the features together. But this AI starter plan is actually the one I will recommend. But don't worry, uh, you can do a several days free trial while you clone all the websites you want to clone. And then you import it to your normal WordPress website. Now, don't seem confused right there. I'm going to teach you how you are going to do everything so once you get to this video there are also plus e-commerce in case your website the, the website you want to put involve buying or selling making payments online you are going to need this one and if you are going to be building an agency website then you can go with this one so let's just start with the um business plan then click on get started for free don't worry just trust me even if you don't have anyone to pay trust me and make sure you watch this video to the end so that you can easily understand so click on get started for free right here so you are going to see this uh email address first name email address first name last name your password uh for me i already have an account and i'm not sure if i can create a new account but let me check let me try to sign up with Google and see if I can create a new account because I already have an account with them. So I just want to show you how everything is done. So I just created a new account. I connected it with my Google account. And then this is the next page I got. So which means that this is the page that you're also going to get. You can see create a new website with AI, converts a website to WordPress with AI. And so this is what we are going to do. And just in case you also want to explore some of the other features, you can click on any of this. But this is what we are going with here. So click on this and then URS to recreate. Um, I don't have any URL line, so I don't know. Okay, let, let's try to create, let's say, our WordPress.org. Just for an example, you know, I'm not going to publish this. You get, I'm not going to publish it. I just want to use this as an example. So see if it, it will actually work. And one more thing you should notice that if you want to go on the website, it won't appear 100% like the original website so there will be a lot of not a lot but some um, um disalignment some elements will be out of order or out of shape it is your job to just uh balance everything just try to edit it give it some little touch and then you are good to go so let me just try to do this note that i'm not going to publish this website so i just want to show you this 
uh, for tutorial purposes. Okay, just be patient while uh, this finished only. Okay, so we can see that this has finished installing. So let us preview our website. Okay, if you are getting this page, don't worry. Just go back to your dashboard. Okay, let's let me verify my accounts. I mean, uh, my email right here. So after verifying my email address, this was the page I got, and this is the original page. Let me try to refresh this one. Now this is the dashboard where you can edit your website and uh, do anything you want. You can manage your website. And this is the AI builder. You can find this AI builder under this manager. You create this manage, you're going to see AI builder and then uh, it's, it's just the same thing. Or let me just show you instead. Let me delete all this was. Okay, so this is what you get immediately in logging to your account. This is the dashboard this is a page you will get immediately in logged into your account so the next thing to do is just to click on this money right here and you got access to your website yet it will be password protected so this is the password and the username that you use to access your website and reason for this is that we've not added a custom domain to this or we've not gotten a pro account so either you add a custom domain or you get a pro account that's where you'll be able to access your website. Before we do that, let me go to this AI builder. Note your website will be empty. Okay, let me let me show you. It will be uh it will be empty. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Then you have your username and password. So let me quickly copy that. I'm just going to paste it. Oh, they didn't ask. I think that is cool. I thought they are going to ask. But if you want to access it, um uh, maybe in another tab so in another browser they are going to ask so you gotta see how it looks this is the website you can see this is not what you can see what it's like and i think it is very perfect but just this source you can see page one page two and you just need to add uh your pages then how do we clone this into a fully functional wordpress website just click on edit website but you'll be asked to upgrade or try the pro version for seven days and don't worry it is under be safe. Just try it. If you have to input your credit or your debit card, and then they are going to deduct one dollar which they are going to refund because trust me, I have tried this before. They are going to deduct one dollar which they are going to you know refund you back. But I don't want to add my card because I already added it in my first account. So what I'm going to do right here is that I will switch to my first account, and then I'm going to show you how it is done so we just assume that i've added it but let me show you the process so you are going to choose any of this uh let's say i chose this one you can choose any of this click on try for free now this is what we are going to do you are going to add your card details and they are going to deduct one dollar but they will refund it after i think five minutes after five minutes they are going to refund it this is just for them to be sure that you added a working card so what we are going to do is as you are going to clone the website that you want to work with. So after cloning them, you will remove your card and cancel your subscription before that seven day end. So that is something key right here. Okay, add your card and once you add it, they are not going to deduct any money except for the one that we are going to refund you back. And then once you are done, let me switch to my first account to show you what it is like after you know adding your payment details, your card and everything. Okay, I just switch to my first account so this is the dashboard i've not added any website uh let me try to add a new website if you notice you won't find the uh clone any website to wordpress right here all you need to do is click here just click this one click this and you'll be asked to your title your name and everything just like your site title so then just write wordpress then location data center and if you have a domain you can see your site will be accessible by this address by default. This is where you can access your website. But if you have a domain, you just add it. But I'm not sure you need that. And when you name and the password, just click on create and wait for this to finish installing. Okay, so this has finished installing. Click on the start. 
this is the next thing we are going to do here uh instead of clicking generate with ai just click inside the url of any desired page just inside the url and inside the page title so let me just, let me just type home and uh, like i want to use wordpress and click recreate and just be patient while this is loading now you can see uh, your website was successfully generated so let me edit it now and i will show you how you can easily move it to your page so you can see that we can now edit this we can edit all the text one after the other but instead of editing it here you can edit it on your main website or you can edit it here and copy it on your main website depending on how you want it so let's say if you want to edit anything you can just try to edit try to edit it. this image this is the text so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to clone it into a wordpress website so this is a word uh sorry this is a normal wordpress website right a normal one give it by custom domain hosted on mgip i will click on create new page this is the same step you are going to follow just create a new page and then you are going to name the page anything but for me i'll just write test because this is like a test uh website i'm going to be testing it and click publish after then click edit with elementor this doesn't look right uh don't worry just click settings f and change this to elementor full width so we now have an empty page if you are still getting uh your head and the footer just change it to elementor canvas the next thing i'm going to do is to click here you can see this right here and click save as templates let me just name it anything and we write wordpress and click on save and then let me locate it so this is it click here this three dots icon and click export so we just export it and go back to the website click here you can see templates then click here you will see import templates and uh just wait for this to load uh, before we do that go to my template before you import templates go to my template and click import template then you select the file this is what we just exported now this select it continue and you are going to see just click on insert and click apply so you can see but this will take a while before it's finished setting up this will take a while so just calm down and allow all everything to finish loading and then you can start editing your website to anything you want so we can see what i'm talking about the page is still loading uh let us check it out you can see what i'm talking about you just edit some few things that you feel they are off or they need to be balanced and one thing i always recommend is that if you are going to be copying and pasting it and you are going to uh, you know, edit it i would advise that you edit it via this 10 web uh builder you know, instead of just editing it in because i discovered that it is more slow while you are editing it from your from the new website than here i think that's one of the disadvantages of this so i discovered that it is actually slower Depending on your internet speed, your hosting provider, and your laptop also. And when I checked um, some of my previous works that I did, they have a really good uh, page speed, actually. Yeah. yeah, they have a really good page speed. So you don't need to worry about maybe your page slowing down or anything. If you edit it here, you find it easier and faster. That's all for this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. If this video has helped you, you learned a lot from this video, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, don't forget to like this video also and kindly drop a comment below if you have any question or any inquiries. Thank you for watching this video once again.